on the fucking floor. So you probably watched my solo build which I uploaded last week, which was a high-end exotic build which you need to use skull gloves for to really make it work. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't have those really good skull gloves which you need because I know for myself I had to farm them for quite some time. So I decided to show you another build which is really similar, which works really similar but it's a bit different. So it's free attack and free high end. So the benefit will, with this build is that you're gonna have 50% skill haste which is the cap compared to the 40 which you can achieve with the high end exotic build. You will lose some damage since you don't have uh, skull gloves but you will be able to get more skill haste and actually if you have the best pieces you have will have two more mods will, which will be health instead of uh, skill haste right. So if you look at the tactician so the two piece is skill haste 15% which is so strong for a two piece definitely the strongest two piece in my opinion and then the three piece which is 10% skill power you could do this build with a two piece I guess but since we're gonna go some electronics I think the three piece is really good as well and especially if you use specialized so yeah you could use four piece tactician as well instead of specialized maybe if you play in a group and if that would suit your playstyle more but two piece is definitely what you need and I prefer three piece so I'm currently using a vigorous chest piece here where we have skill haste rolled and we have health rolled. Both of those are really important since we're gonna get skill haste everywhere we can. Sadly this one is not min max so it's 8% the max is 9. It's not the biggest deal but it actually it's actually really good if you can have the max skill haste rolls here as I said because then you can skip another skill haste mod and get health so yeah. But mine is not that good. So I have firearms here. I have two firearms mods here with skill haste. And you want to use vigorous. So you can use booster shot for the overheal. When you have this much skill power. I think it's really dumb to, to use overdose. But if you don't want to use booster. And you want to do overdose. You could use a Barret. If you play in Dark Zone. I think Barret is pretty damn bad in Last Stand. Since your armor is already max so you don't get anything you don't get uh, the armor from it which is like the biggest part of it, of it because most of the time your cooldowns your cooldowns are gonna be on cooldown right so we look at the mask I'm using a refresh mask here and I mean refreshed have been one of my favorite high ends for a long time I know some people maybe like tenacious more if you want to get that 10% more damage when you, use, when you do use a medkit, then yeah, feel free to do it. But the way I play this build, refreshed makes just so much more sense. I will go into more detail about why later in the video. So yeah, you can use Tenacious or Pharaoh or whatever, but I prefer refreshed. The major attribute here is skill power. You could go exotic damage resilience, but I feel like skill power is better. Then I have burn resistance, which I prefer. Another firearm skill is mode. The knee pads, I'm using tactician knee pads. I mean, you could go short, but with this one, if you are a guy that likes to toss grenade, maybe you like to chicken dance and just toss grenade and get your kills that way. I mean, if you want to do that, then yeah, sure. But I have zero respect for you. <laughs> but yeah, I use tact tactician with electronics roll and health roll and shock burn disrupt. I actually picked these up last week on the vendor and they are just so good. I think they had skill powers that roll it to health and yeah they are pretty much god roll. Here I have a firearms health mod. One of them since compared to last week's uh, build you can actually go two health mods here or at least up to two. I'm currently using one because I don't have the best skill haste rolls. So yeah that's why I have the health here. First aid self heal to make the heal stronger. So I'm using a specialized backpack. And this one I haven't rolled yet. My inventory is full so I can't really show you the firearms roll. But I think it's like 12.45. So I will roll the health a bit higher. I think I could get like two, three thousand more. 16,000 in total here. So I will do that later. Another skill haste mod. And two first aid self heal. And I mean if you want to do four piece you could swap the specialized. Or you could swap refreshed or whatever you like. I would probably swap the specialized. Because I'm a big fan of uh, refreshed. Tactician gloves with electronics roll, 
skill haste, critical hit damage and assault rifle. I would say the biggest thing to get here is the skill, skill haste and weapon damage. And crit chance or crit damage. I got crit damage so yeah, I go with that. Like if you have a strong pulse, I would uh, prefer crit damage over crit chance, but yeah. So here on the skill haste, I'm 1% from the max, same as the chase, so I'm already losing 2% skill haste. And if we look at the tactician holster, I mean if you really like nimble, you could use that instead. I mean this is just what I prefer, I feel like when you have a hybrid with this skill haste, you don't really need to nimble. But you could do that if you like. Skill haste here as well. And we lose another percent there, so we lose 3% since I don't have the max skill haste rolls. Which means I have to use another skill haste mod. If I would have perfect skill haste, I would, I would uh, be able to use two health mods. Now I can only use one, so I do lose some, some there because it's not min-maxed. But it's good enough. Looking at my weapons, this is the weapon I've been using a lot now with the hybrid builds. I'm using competent, adept, responsive. Since the skill list is so high, I always have competent and adept up. That's why I use adept instead of fierce. And responsive here in the bottom slot, which is great. That's why I don't have to invest any stam at all. I feel like deadly or unforgiving would work really good as well. If you have unforgiving though, you need to have it in the bottom slot. Because I'm I'm not going to invest 4,800 stam. It's just it's not it's it's just so bad. Like I'd rather have those two thousand stat points into electronics because stam is just pretty damn bad. I mean, if we look at the weapon mods, extend the mag, and I'm actually trying out crit chance, crit damage now because I feel like in most one v ones or ADS battles, I will out damage most people, even even though I don't have have the headshot damage. But when I struggle to kill people is when they run in circles or just hip fire and then in this patch it's sadly better to aim for the chest since the headshot multiplier is so low in the game. And yeah, I mean I always been rocking headshot damage but uh, since they did this change I mean I got adept as well. I mean when there's a 1v1 ADS battle and it's pretty close range I aim for the head and I out damage most people anyway with the aim. That's why I'm currently using crit damage. MP7 with Adept, Deadly, Unforgiving, that's pretty good as well. I probably have Responsive instead of Unforgiving on the MP7, since most of the times I'm pretty healed, but Unforgiving is a really good talent. I mean, I would rather have Unforgiving on the Elbow A, I think, but on the MP7 you are always close. I mean, when I play Assault Rifle, I try to take medium range fights, so I feel like Unforgiving would be better in that case, since... A lot of times it's probably around 15-20 meters, so I don't get anything from responsive. So I try to avoid the super close combats because it's just all about having 12,000 DPI. Doesn't matter where they aim at because, yeah, the reticle is so big, so they, they're just aiming on your foot or whatever, and it's the same damage as, uh, as on the chest. And you can't hit the head as reliable as before since the reticle is too big, there's too much RNG factor. So let's look into the talents here, I'm using a conceal pulse. Or a recon one if somebody else have concealed, but most of the time I conceal. Have some decent stats here, I mean 18% is not that bad. I mean a lot of people use Seeker, Mines, Turret, so you're gonna pulse a lot of people. That's pretty good. Cool, I'm short as well, and I use a booster shot here. With 122k self heal, almost 123k. With a 21 second cooldown. It gives me ADR and damage. And the ult, I use a blue or a recovery usually. So we go to talents here, and here I'm gonna explain to you a bit why I do prefer refreshed instead of uh, tenacious. So, with this build, when I play solo, I would play something like yeah, something like this. Obviously not free arch, I will swap that soon. But at least the three talents I use most of the time, it's strike back, critical save, and on the move. Could use like this one, I guess. Or one is none. But yeah, so strike back. Reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Then we have a critical save. Use a medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. I mean, you're probably pretty familiar with those two talents. 
And then we have refresh as well, which in, a, in the last segment as those two talents, it will give you 30% more healing. So every time I try to use my heals, it's not always possible, but most of the times I proc my medkit and my heal in the last segment. And that will proc me, if it's a medkit, it will proc me critical save. And on top of that, it will proc 20% on my cooldowns. And on top of that, it will give me 30% more, more healing. So if I do that most of the time with my medkits and with the heal, I'm just going to get so much more survivability compared to what uh, Tenacious would do. It's not as big as before, but it still gives me a little bit of advantage compared to other players that just use their medkit whenever. I mean, you cannot do this all the time. Sometimes you got to use it to proc your status effect. But yeah, if you can, if I can, I do it. And then we have on the move, it's like still nerfed, but it's 15% and I feel like if I'm getting a lot of kills, I will proc on the move pretty easy and it's still 15% ADR. It just helps to tank up. The fourth one, I would take attack advance if I'm feeling for it. Probably not for this build since they don't have nimble, but you could do that. Or I use maybe precision or I could use a one is none. Or if I want to get my skill power a bit higher, I could use death by proxy. I feel like the fourth talent, I have a lot of choice I could use. I mean, even Battle Buddy would do well. If I would play in a group, I would take Triage and Combat Medic. They are really important. Then I take away Critical Save, and this is probably what I would use. Strike Back is not as important when you are in a group, but I still feel like if you would reach that low HP, you would get 20% cooldowns back, and it would probably help a lot, so... But I feel like uh, strike back is optional here. So yeah, that's the build guys. Pretty similar to last week. And I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have done a build like this similar. Or probably the same. But yeah, I mean, Tactician is really strong. The 2 and 3 piece. Especially the 2 piece. So yeah. I will show you some footage now. I haven't played that much solo with it. But I have some decent gameplay. It's not the longest game. I think it's a pretty short game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day. I like console for like uh, sports games, like not shooters though, but every other game it's fine for console. Just to chill with, play with friends, but when it comes to like playing shooters or a bit competitive, it's uh, like definitely not my, where I want to play it. On the fucking floor. What do you say, guys? How many was that? Was it four? Five? Doesn't matter, you lower the skill cap, I kill you anyway, man. Fucking hybrids, man. I like this build for sure. Rip nade. Shock resistance, baby. Oh, I got cocky. I haven't had a medkit ready. Oh, they were behind us as well. Oh, that, that explains it. Let's go, dude. Come on, Sanchez. Come on, dude. Come on, you can do it, bro. Oh, he misses. Oh, and I get finished. Would you think your aim would be as good as console as it is on PC? No. If I would really go hardcore on console, yeah, it, I, I would be a good player for sure, because I invest the time. And I'm generally good at games. Because I played games my whole life. But I mean, I played PC games the last 10 years or whatever. Obviously, I would need a lot of time, but if, if I would be really tired about it, I would definitely be good on console as well. But if I would play it right now, yeah, I would be trash. Because I don't play with controller, right? 
mouse and controller, it's completely different. But I don't doubt my skill in video games. And he misses everything, so I don't get on the move. What the fuck? Hybrid bitch. I got heals for these man. And I'm also sidestep king. I'm the chicken dancer. Oh you smart bro. But you're still on floor. On the floor. Got the back up there from storm party. Take the heal bro. Yeah it's a uh, OV jersey in the back. It's a pretty good start on this map, I would say, because it's pretty slow paced, but there's a lot of action on B, which is fun. There's like so many people as well, like outnumbered and killing, that's always like the most fun in the game. I fucked my medkit. Dude, there's so much seeker. I'm gonna nade if they come here. I'm gonna get my heal here. Yep, I got it. Do the, the LV way. This is greedy. I have no medkits left. Got my heal though, but I got no cooldowns. So we're just gonna nade. I think I can kill him anyway. I don't have medkits. That will kill me. And it doesn't matter how many players I kill, I will not get it back anyway. Can I outplay him there? Yeah. You tricked. Now it's gonna be hard though. It is on fire, so yeah. I don't have any medikits, man. YOLO. Yeah. No cooldowns on heal, no medkit. It sucks so bad that you don't get medkits for killing players. I mean, you saw example Exos, he went from console to PC. And he's actually pretty good. It's, he's a good player for sure, on PC. But I think he played a bit PC before, right? But he knows a lot about the game, like how to play it. Like it's not all about aim in this game. You need to take your fight smart, you need to know about cooldowns. Sure the skill gap is lower than before, but it's still a lot of other stuff that you have to do. That is not all about your aim, right? This is too many people. But we can outplay them. No, nope, because they have shock resistance, I'm dead. I can't ADS against this many people. I will die. See, it's not all aim, you need to outplay your opponent. It's not all about aim. Doesn't matter you have the best aim there, if you don't play it correctly, then you're fucked. Like I'm aiming like a scrub at the moment, but it's still getting on the floor because there's other stuff than aim. It's not all about aim. It's hard enough to outplay people, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I outplayed them pretty harder. And of course they played stupid, but I mean, they are four against one. They will overextend a lot of times. Everyone does that. Same when you go solo rogue against multiple people. When they have the advantage like that, they will play stupid. And then you just take advantage of that.
Like, sure, I didn't have any heal, but I set them on fire. They can't do shit. That are the fights I want to avoid, though, because that's so much 50-50. And on top of that, I had one behind me. That's why you don't see me too much close range, because it's so easy to just hit the body. And the reticle is too big for you to actually hit the head, sh head uh, too often, right? That's why you most of the time see me ADSing at long range. Or medium range. Because those fights, it will be 50-50. Maybe I do 70% damage, he do 30. But he do way more than he probably would do if it was a medium range fight. So I take way more damage. And then if they are two, like they were there, I'm, I'm gonna die. Right? I hate those close range fights, especially since I have probably lo way lower sense than, than most people. It's a pretty good game, I would say, though. For this map. It's a lot of action. You usually don't get it on this map. And that's because they are rushing B instead of playing the map. It would be so fun if they had like... A more... Something more that's just based way more on PvP, right? Like you kind of need some objectives, but the objectives should, should help... To get PvP, right? I feel like... The current one here, you can just play the map so much. Sorry, I'm missing shot. I want to focus. Is he lagging? I'm dead here, though. Because they, they can't follow, though. Because he's on fire, so now he dies. That's why I like... I don't like shortbow. Shortbow is short faster, but I can do the same shit without shortbow. I'm dead, actually. Yeah, no, I definitely did. Yeah. That sausage is so annoying. I'm not gonna lie, but that whiskey, man. <laughs> it's crazy that I already feel it, man. The fuck? Where did it go? Buddy, 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 buddy. Sure, I could aim for head there, but I'm gonna miss so many shots. He killed himself. No, I don't think it was his seeker. Yeah, it was his seeker, right? He killed himself. Big Karakaya. I'm failing with my skills, though. I don't have competent and adept up all the time. That fucking window is like a death trap. myself fuck I had my me no I'm immune I had my I had my heal ready but I needed myself how many last down maps uh, there's four would like to see more actually that's a med kit you only spawn with four
God, he had a, mo a lot of teens. Up, Commander. That was a pretty decent game for this map, I would say. 35. I think that's actually really good for this map. I don't know how long was the map. How many minutes was left? Was it 20 minutes? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do daily division videos all from gameplay to guides, highlights, build videos. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids. Have a nice day.